So guys, the question that most of us ask is, when will I become profitable or how long does it take for me to become profitable in the forex market? Now, when you are a beginner trader, that is what rushes in your mind because most of us come into the market with a get rich quick mindset. There is nothing wrong with, with becoming rich quickly. And in fact, a forex market is a get rich quick scheme if you manage your risk properly. You can get rich quickly in the forex market if you manage your risk. Now, when people come into the forex market, even myself when I just come into trading, I was asking myself, how long is it going to take me to become profitable? And that question, I did not get an answer because it took me a long time of failing becoming uh, profitable failing making profits losing blowing accounts getting frustrated uninstalling mt4 for my for my phone and for my pc and it dawned on me that forex trading is not a business that you come into with a time frame to succeed you, there is no specific time frame for you to succeed within the forex market. No, I know that some of you guys have heard people saying they succeeded within three months of learning how to trade, within six months, within one year. That could be true, but it is not entirely true. It can be so far from the truth if you actually look at, come to look at it. The forex market is a very dynamic place. Some people come into the forex market while the market is actually trending at the time when the market is trending and there they succeed quickly more than people who come into the forex market while the market is in consolidation phase. So the time when you get into trading determines how fast you are actually going to succeed because some people succeed because they come into the market while the market is trending and they jump onto the trend and they end up succeeding much faster than a person who comes into trading while the market is in consolidation phase now for me i, I got into the market during the the, the lockdowns that we we're experiencing because of the worldwide uh, uh uh disease that was affecting the whole globe you guys know what i'm what i mean yeah, so I came in during that time and it was actually, uh, the market was heavily consolidating around that time. The market was, the markets were creating whipsaws. So it was quite difficult for me to make money or become profitable re during that time. That was the time when I was blowing accounts, making profits, blowing the accounts. So what do you do to become profitable in a long run? You manage your risk manage your psychology try to manage your psychology psychology plays a big role in how fast you're going to succeed in the market come we come into the market with the correct mindset have a target come in with a goal for example if you're working a nine to five and uh, you're, you're earning say seven hundred thousand ugandan shillings or maybe let's say five hundred dollars uh, if you're in the US or any other country, let's say you're earning $500 and you want to come into trading and start trading full time, right? Uh, first, start to trade until you see that you can make $500 or more every month. If you can do that, then it will, it will, it will be easier for you to like uh, start trading full time. But the time frame for you to succeed is not determined by how much how money you invest into the forex market in terms of how much you deposit in the broker what determines how quickly you become profitable is the amount of chart work and analysis time that you put into the market the amount of uh the the amount of love that you have for what you're doing in this case the forex market if you show love to the forex market if you show love to the charts by putting in the work you will become profitable much faster than someone who just uh, wants to be, be spoon-fed or wants to become profitable quickly by randomly taking trades. What do I mean? You've heard people say it takes 10,000 hours for someone to become a professional. It is true. It is true. Though it may not be literally 10,000 hours, but it takes a long time. That statement is just used as a metaphor to let you know that it takes a lot of time for you to you have to put in a lot of work for you to succeed in whatever you want to do in life okay so when i first came into trading one of the things that i actually do appreciate that i did was i put in a lot of effort a lot of love for the charts 
guys, you can't believe that I could have even gone or exceeded the 10,000 uh, hours that are required to become a professional because in my first two years of trading, I was literally looking at the charts almost 20 hours a day. <laughs> because sometimes I would even wake up at night while, uh, while I'm sleeping, I would wake up and then I, I look at the charts. Some people would call that uh, paralysis, uh, analysis paralysis, or whatever, becoming a chat addict or what. But that is how much I loved uh, trading Forex. I would look at the charts even while I was at work. I would take breaks every five minutes. I would go in and check and check on the charts, try to look at the charts. And the more I looked at the charts, the more I started to understand how the dynamics are and the mechanics of trading are. So you have to put in a lot of love for what you want to do or what you're doing in this case the forex market the more love you show the forex market the faster you will learn how to trade and the faster you become profitable the other thing that you need to realize is that there is no specific time frame for you to succeed in anything you've seen that some people go into the field of engineering some people go to become physicians some people go to become politicians but not everybody becomes successful at the same time some people take longer than others generally to become uh, successful in whatever they uh, put their mind to do. So, in this regard, I want you guys to uh, take your time, be patient with yourself, love trading, and don't put in a time frame for it to succeed. Just love trading to the point that you will give it enough time for you to become skillful at it. Just like when you're born, when you're still a, an infant, you, you don't immediately start running or Im immediately start um, um, going for athletics championships, okay? You f you, when you're born, you start to sit up, then you crawl, then you try to stand up and balance, then you run, then you now become a, maybe an athlete, if, you, if that's your dream. You start running uh, marathons or, 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 or maybe 100 meter races like Hussein Bolt. But if you work, if you are uh, in, a, in the trading industry and you're not profitable, Look at yourself like the baby or the infant, okay? Look at yourself like the inf an infant who is trying to grow, okay? Do not look at other people who are walking and running and think that you can be run, uh, become like that quickly. Take your time, take your steps, take your growth step by step, and in no time at all. Like when you were young, you, do, you didn't realize that you're now walking, okay? It just came automatically by you, following on the on the laws of nature okay and just rolling with it so it's the same thing with forex trading for you to become successful you will not even realize that you're now you're now profitable you'll just go back a few months and say oh i've been profitable for three months now four months now and it will just come automatically as you do the right thing now these are the things that you really need to uh, put down in, in order for you to become a profitable and successful trader. The first thing is manage your risk. Learn to manage your risk. Don't over risk your account. I know some of you have heard people say that you need to over risk and all that. Okay. Don't over risk. Manage your account. Take a lot size that is appropriate to your account and um, use the correct uh, risk to reward ratios in your trades. Okay. For example, if you're trading uh, and you are taking a one-to-one -one risk to reward ratio, it will be difficult for you to be profitable because with a one-to-one -one risk to reward ratio, you, your win rate has to be more than 50% for you to be profitable. But with a one-to-two, one-to-three or more, you don't need to be correct most of the time. You can actually just win 40 out of 100 trades and you will still be profitable with a one-to-two risk to reward ratio. Okay, so imagine taking 100 trades and you lose 60 trades, win only 40, but you will still come out profitable. So it's very important for you to risk the amount of money that your account can handle. That will help you to preserve your capital for you to be able to grow within the Forex market. Then use the correct risk to reward ratio within uh, within your trading so that you can always guarantee in a long run that you will become profitable. Then also make sure that you the strategy that you are using has at least a 40% win rate. At least a 40% win rate. On this channel, I've given out strategies that have up to 70% win rate, 60% win rate. 
on this channel just go check out some of my videos look through uh, if you go to uh, my playlists on the channel you will see a section which which says uh, forex trading price action strategies okay when you reach there you will just look at the strategies that i teach there they have a win rate of at least 60 percent that will really make you a profitable trader now it is not complicated to be profitable in fact by you just going to those some of those videos and just choosing one strategy because there are several of them just choose one strategy and go by that strategy stick to it trade it with a one to two risk to reward ratio and risk only two percent to three percent of your account okay per trade i'm telling you if you go back after maybe three to four months you'll see that you are profitable you will see yourself profitable just using those strategies and the other thing is learn to withdraw your profits when you make them when you make some profit in the market don't leave it all there don't try to compound the account okay withdraw money and leave some there like for example if you make a thousand dollar profit withdraw 500 leave 500 to grow the account okay so that your consciousness or uh, your psychology is well taken care of so that you don't have a negative bias towards the market so that you know that the money that you are actually trading is real money that can be withdrawn onto your bank account and then you can use it to solve some of the issues you have within your life so guys i don't want to make the video too long i hope this video helps you guys to know how long it will take you to become profitable the, the answer is there is no specific time for you to become profitable you only become profitable when you follow the rules put in the work love what you're doing and automatically you will see yourself becoming profitable the faster you do the things that i've told you the faster you are going to become profitable thank you guys for watching and if you've not subscribed to this channel do me some kindness guys don't leave this video without subscribing please just give a like on this video subscribe and also comment down below it really goes a long way guys to show that you're appreciating the content that i'm posting out for you guys for free Thank you guys for watching. Until next time, peace out.